Apache helicopter. Hello and welcome to another video from me, Boots on the Ground UK. In today's video, well, you chose it in my previous video when I asked what you wanted me to do next, and you all said you wanted me to do a woodland wild camp. Well, I'm here at Asketh Falls, and tonight I will be staying out in the dark on my own. We're luckily allowed to actually have a fire at this campsite and I will give you all the details for this location if you wish to visit. There is a little bit of paperwork to fill in when you get here but if you are a responsible camper and you abide by the laws of nature and respect where you're actually staying then this is a fantastic location and we'll go into that more in detail as we get into the video. I may be breaking this video up into smaller parts. So let's get boots on the ground here in Asgarth. Let's get camping. Let's get into the woods and let's have a great day out. Thanks for watching. So here we are, I'm not far from the falls and I'm in this beautiful forest here and we actually have permission to have a fire here tonight and I will be the only person staying out in the woods so if you don't hear from me again, either aliens or Bigfoot have got me <laughs> but Annie, the person who runs this facility and owns this forest was absolutely grounded really nice to get on with and she gave me some advice and also gave me the best location in order for me to be able to camp. So I can remember my way back there to the site. I'm gonna head up towards the falls, we'll get a little bit of footage, and as we come back, what we'll end up doing is, we'll set up camp, we'll sort out a fire, we won't be lighting it until later, and I'll try and get some really beautiful footage out over the valley, and hopefully we can capture that sunset and sunrise. So here we are at Asgard Falls and behind me, if you can actually hear me, is the lower falls. This is not actually the big waterfall, so I may actually get some drone footage while I'm here. But it's quite deafening and the amount of water that's actually flowing down this river is really, really amazing. that we're going to be staying tonight. It overlooks an amazing valley which I will get some footage of and as behind you you can see we already have the fire pit already set up, got the rocks together, sorted that out. So that's us all set up now ready to go. All the bedding is in there, I've got the sleeping bag on the Goliath and the air mat which I can do a, a review on at another point and we also have the grail so we're going to go find a water source now. These dry sacks from OEX are actually waterproof so this gives us the opportunity to be able to fill these up and keep them as a fire hazard should we need it but we can also filter the water in here. Actually I left a bit of plastic in there. Uh, we can filter this water with the grail if we need to and we've got plenty of cooking water and water for breakfast in the morning. I've got a feeling another Apache's gonna fly over. I wanna get some good footage of this. Where is it? Oh, that one's pretty high up. And yes, as I always say, we're having a cup of tea. It's actually coffee again. So before it gets dark, I thought I would show you what I'm actually using to start the fire. I've actually gone and got some really dry bracken here and it's really dried out which will make great tinder. From there we've got the pine chips that we used before, we'll be using those and then we'll be using some of the pine bark as well once the fire actually gets going. In the meantime we will also be using some jute sticks 
these are jute tinder sticks that are wax coated and these will burn really really quickly that will actually get in there and we may possibly even use some of the um, balsa wood in here and we have a fakerum spark there that we will be using and in order to get the fire going we can use this and we literally just put that into the fire and blow on the more oxygen in the quicker and the faster it will start to burn Okay, so it's getting quite dark now, so let's see if we can actually get this fire started. So what we're going to start off with here is some twisted jute. We'll take a couple of pieces of this and leave that over there for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the dried up bracken here. And I'm going to wrap it round like so. See if we can get another bit in there. And wrap it around. That's a tight little bundle like so. And we're going to get a few little bits on top like that. And let's just see if we can get this to light with the with the fire stick. Probably not. But hey ho, we shall give it a go. And then we've got some bark and stuff ready to go as well. So let's get our little scraper here, our little lighter get these out of the way and let's see if we can actually get this to burn so we are going to be doing this um, with that side I think I just need to there we go All right so what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to hold this still and pull the stick back that way but this is not going to be easy we need to get a proper proper nail it Oh, success! We got there in the end, and I'm actually going to use this stick to blow some more air into it to keep it going. And there we go. We got there in the end. <laughs> I think we need a lesson with the Thickrum stick, or whatever it's called, because my hands are bloody red raw trying to get that to, to start burning. Blimey. Definitely need somebody to teach me how to do that properly. That was a joke. A joke and a half. Alright, let's get this fire fire starter away. That took far too long. In an emergency. Well, I think I we would have struggled, let's put it that way. Let's get a bit more bark on there and let's get that fire roaring. Well, I don't mind telling you, it is dark. It is super dark here in the woods i literally cannot even see more than a foot in front of me so if i put this on at least i can see where i'm going a little bit yes we've got the old glow stick now the fire unfortunately has been a complete and utter disaster i think the wood that we've actually got today was a little bit on the damp side and it is really difficult to keep this going i have actually got this extendable pipe here Just get it going and then it will go back out again if I turn my headset off you see actually quite roasting quite toasty but as you can see here out in the woods it's absolutely pitch black literally I cannot see two foot if I can't even see a foot in front of me so I was hoping that we would get this fire blazing by now but alas Let's take that off. But alas, it's not going to happen. Scary indeed. <laughs> Where's the tent? It's over here. 
so the fire you can just about maybe see out there a few little lights out in the distance but we are in the woods completely alone is it scary only if I think about it <laughs> Tell you what, it's spooky enough as it is without having a bloody red light on. My god. This tube is absolutely brilliant. As you can see, absolutely nothing. I can't even see past the edge of the fireplace. Took me a long time to get this fire going. I don't even know if I'll if it be able to see me. Well, today's been a quite an enjoyable day and um, as I mentioned, I've never known darkness like this before. Without the fire and the, the light on my head, I can't even see my hand in front of my face, it's literally in front of my face. So, yeah, quite an experience. Um, I think this is something that, that everybody should do at some point in their life. Just try it. Is it scary? It's only scary if you let it. It's all in your mind. It's probably safer here than I am in the city, to be honest with you. But yeah, it certainly gives you time to reflect on a lot of things. I would love a job to be able to work out here in the Dales or out in the country. I would love it. I work in the city pretty much. 24 <laughs> anyway. Well, there's any things creeping around, pheasants and things. It might be time for me to say goodnight. I'll catch you bright and breezy. I shall see you all in the morning. <laughs> Bye all. Bye. Good morning people. It is 6.15. Oh, everything is piss wet through. <laughs> Good morning. Very, very damp. Even the even the cardboard is not lighting. Thank God we brought a lighter. Bit of a lifesaver. Tired indeed. It took some doing, but we got it going in the end. Just everything being completely damp.
Well, that brings our adventure to an end here at Asgarth. Now this location is absolutely perfect. It's a real beautiful wood actually and as you go up there are some hills that give you some really good looks over the valley here where I actually stayed and if you wanted to go somewhere that's a little bit more sheltered then there is areas down here to my left and a little bit over to my right. There is a water supply up near the main gate here so if you don't want to be heading down to the river every time and using your grail or your water purification kit then you're pretty much everything's covered here. You will have to sign some forms to say when you come here that you're not going to be cutting down the trees, you're not going to be carving and you're not going to be a complete and utter nuisance although fires, families, ball games and music is all allowed in these woods and if you do stay here Annie, the person who owns this forest, really really nice lady, lots full of information and very very helpful and chatty she will actually try and keep you further apart so you're not going to be on top of each other or there's going to be somebody camping directly here this is the perfect place for you. So if you're looking for that place where you can do it legally and you don't need to worry that you're not going to get yourself into trouble, then you can do it here. You can buy firewood as well here in sacks up at the top. I think they were around seven, eight pounds. So go through the process, come here, experience it, bring your friends, have a campfire. There's nothing can beat having a campfire in the woods especially when you're cold at night or in the morning just make sure you bring enough fire starter kits with you i had to use in the end a lighter a backup lighter that i'd brought purely because the actual woods is quite really damp and it's really frosty today so the wood that was actually left out overnight was slightly damp so take that into account bring some proper tinder and something to light the fire with otherwise this site is fantastic and I definitely, definitely will be coming again. Oh. It's a real crisp bite in the air.